How much alcohol is too much for living lean? Welcome back to Live Lean TV for Women. I am your host, Jessica Guthrow, and I'm here to teach you how to live lean and enjoy some alcohol occasionally. So this is a really important question that we get all the time is about drinking. And is it possible to drink and still maintain a lean physique all year round? Well, the answer is, as always, it depends. It depends on your starting point. It depends on your goals and it depends on how much alcohol you consider to be a moderate consumption. So let's break this down so you know exactly how much alcohol you should or could be drinking for your specific starting point and your goals. So there's basically three modes of operation that you can be in. Number one is you're really super dedicated. It's time to make results happen. You're not going to let anything stand in your way. If that category sounds like you, then you really really want to tighten those focus goggles up and limit your alcohol to zero to one drinks per week. Seriously, the alcohol does not help you when your goal is to change. So just cutting it out cold turkey is going to be your best bet to seeing the fastest results possible. Now the main problem with alcohol is not just the calories or the carbohydrates that it contains, but it's also what it does to your willpower. Especially when you're new to the living lifestyle, you need strong willpower. You need to be able to say no to junk foods, to say no to late nights where you don't get enough sleep, and to be able to say yes to working out every day. Don't let alcohol cloud your judgment, make you feel groggy, or take away that willpower, making it hard for you to say no to unhealthy foods. All right, if you are in category number two, this means you do want to change, but you're a little more flexible, a little bit more lenient about when and how quickly that's going to happen. Let's say you only have about five to 10 pounds of fat to lose. You're pretty happy with where your physique is at and you don't mind if it takes you another year to lose that fat. In this case scenario, you can freely enjoy three to four drinks per week. And I know for some of you, three to four glasses a week is cutting down quite a bit. That's not a lot of alcohol, but I'm talking about the amount that will not sabotage or slow your progress. And again, it's not because of the calories or the carbohydrates and the alcohol, but more because of what it does to your lifestyle. For most of us, three to four glasses per week is still gonna keep our focus sharp keep us moving forward in the right direction and keep us in that healthy lifestyle habits. Mode three is maintenance mode. This is where you've already reached your goals. You're really happy with where your body fat is. And even though you're not looking to change anymore, you still want to work to maintain what you already have. Now this is the mode that Brad and I live in. And this is where we want you guys living 365 days a year. Now once you make it into this mode, it doesn't mean you can just throw caution to the wind and start just boozing it up. But what it does mean is is that you have a little more flexibility with your choices and you can have a little bit more alcohol if you so choose. Now in maintenance mode, I think it's safe to say that you can easily enjoy five to six drinks per week without noticing the consequences. Regardless of which of these three modes you are in, we never recommend that anyone have more than six alcoholic beverages per week. It just simply isn't necessary and it isn't good for your liver or your health or your lifestyle. So save yourself some money at the bar, save your liver some damage, and choose water over wine. Now, don't get me wrong, I love having drinks. I love wine, I love beer, I love liquor, my favorite is whiskey, but I don't let it interfere with my lean lifestyle because I know how to enjoy it in moderation. So we don't want you guys ever to feel deprived, that's not what living lean is about. It's not about the things that you can't have, it's just about making decisions that are gonna get you closer to your your goals, okay? So you gotta enjoy things in moderation and not take it overboard. It's not about deprivation at all, and we still want you guys to enjoy the finest things in life. Let me know in the comments down below how many drinks per week you typically have and how many you think is too much for living lean. If you want more tips on Living Lean, make sure to join our membership site. It's called TeamLiveLean.com. Inside there, we have tons of recipes where Brad and I show you step-by-step -step how to make delicious meals. And we have a brand new workout program every month to keep you active, keep you moving, and keep you progressing towards your goals. We also have a great community section where like-minded people are chatting and sharing their progress every single day. We've just updated the community forum to make it even better, and we're making improvements to the site all the time. So get your buns inside teamlovelane.com, become a member with us. And if you happen to like the beautiful outfit I'm wearing right now, I get you guys a discount on V3 Apparel. Use my discount code V3Jessica. 
order yourself some snazzy new workout clothes for the gym and get fit in style. All right, that's it for today's video. Make sure to join us inside teamlivelean.com to get further support, accountability, recipes, workouts, all that good stuff that you need to live lean. We love having you guys in there as members. Thank you so, so much for watching. Don't forget to also follow us on social media. We're very active on Snapchat, on Periscope, Twitter, Google, Facebook, all of the above. You can find us all over the interwebs. So thanks again for watching Live Lean TV for Women and I'll see you guys next Thursday. Mwah! Keep living lean. Welcome to this slimming workout. This is going to be a mostly cardio workout. I'm going to lead you through some full body moves with 50 revolutions of jump rope in between each exercise. Let's get started. The 10 minutes begins in three, two, one, and go. 